happenings around the world, the media, let's look at the role of the media in trying to quell this, uh, uh, this tension or to reduce the tension uh, that has affected uh, the uh, uh, international cooperation, especially as the, the nation is witnessing a hike or an increase in the geopolitical activities and geoeconomic activities in Africa and beyond. So how can we in this present context uh, 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 use the media or how can the media help to to change the, the narratives in the world by bringing more constructive and objective analysis regarding the world's uh, problem rather than what we have, uh, the, the issue of uh, propaganda, uh, one party inciting the other. How can we avert this to ensure that we bring a solution to the problems faced by the world? Thank you, Clarice, uh, for this beautiful question. Um, also, thank you. To, to Julia for that um, uh, introducing the human element into this conversation, because at the end of the day, we're not numbers, we're humans. And we were, we are created beings. Some would have you believe that somehow we just came out of nowhere, but understanding the deeper meaning of life requires you to know yourself. And that's the fundamental question in Greek philosophy. And of course, if you look across the world, the democratic system, that you see, demokratia, um, is actually coming emanating out of, of, of Greek, um, say, civilization. So these ideas and understanding requires us to know ourselves, who we are, what we are, and where we are from. You know, this civilization here is only 200 years old. It's not old. And 200 years in the grand scheme of things is a very short time. So it's important to integrate the area under the curve over a longer period of time to understand what we are. And there are those with these insane ideology um, that would want to stop us from having conversations like these. Because it is having conversations like these that we expose the fraud. And um, freedom of speech is absolutely sacrosanct and it's required in order for us to expose the corruption. Barack Obama um, passed a law in the U.S. legalizing propaganda. He passed a law, I'm going to repeat that so that our audience can really think about this. Barack Obama passed a law that would make it legal for the American government to propagandize onto the population. There is a, you talk about the media and what part the media can play. Let's go back to um, Operation Mockingbird. Operation Mockingbird was an operation by the CIA that effectively actively infiltrated the media. And uh, when they were asked in an open forum um, in, 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 in the Senate, or I think it was Congress, they asked um, the C a representative of the CIA, do you have operatives in the media? And he didn't want to say. He says, yes. He, he eventually said, I want to talk to you in a more secret environment to divulge of beautiful ideas we have about <laughs> infiltrating the media. This is absolute corruption. That is why there is the First Amendment, which is the right to free speech. And political speech is protected constitutionally. In other words, I have the right to say anything that I want to say as long as I'm not defaming anybody, I'm not inciting hate, right? These are the preconditions to free speech, because free speech is also responsible. But the people that are actually trying to curtail your speech, they have their own value system. And their value system is based on that we're not human. We we can just easily go from sex to sex and, and all the rest of it. And, you know, it's, a, it, it's, it's whatever you want, you think that you are, you are. And they have completely removed the conversation from the realms of that which is rational. And they want this insanity to permeate every part of society and they want to teach this in school to brainwash the mind for young and they want us to sit still and, and idly by and watch you know this corruption as if nobody knows what they are and who they are and this is really the foundation of all the conversation that we're having um the media has an absolute responsibility in facilitating the truth and what we have is not the media anymore the centralized media that is dying and Trump accurately calls it fake news, 
it is now nobody's watching CNN because the cat is out the back. These individuals do not represent, you know, the actual, the, 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 the true representation of whatever narrative it is that they're creating. They create their narratives because they want a psychological operation to change the minds of the people that would legitimize, you know, um, say military actions, for example. They, they, Gaddafi wanted to launch the gold standard. And they told the people Gaddafi was this evil megalomania individual that justified destroying the most prosperous country in Africa. This is the kind of lies that they teach. And they, they do so because they want the population to agree and to, and to vote with their, with their emotion, to vote you know, with this lie as their belief system so they would justify violence against the rest of the world. And so the media is bought and paid for. It's bought and paid for by the petrol dollar the petrol dollar has been an instrument of war against the population of the world since 1972 when it was launched by Nixon. They removed the gold standard. Gaddafi wanted to reintroduce the gold standard because it is only through monetary sovereignty that you are able to really, really exercise your freedom. The idea of freedom without economic and monetary sovereignty is 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 complete ridiculous and just in 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 closing here is that the BRICS and the BRICS plus that is emerging represents 42 percent of the world the original BRICS represents 42 percent of the world and significant portion of the global economy so this is not just some you know fringe movement we're talking about we're talking about a significant proportion of humanity that has had enough with the petrodollar and the SWIFT system that has been used as instruments of, of warfare, economic warfare against the population of the world. Biden went to Saudi Arabia recently to beg Bin Salman to increase production of oil because he wanted to exchange printed dollar for oil. Bin said, I don't want it anymore. The same thing happened with Schultz. Schultz flew to Canada to speak to um, Trudeau about exchanging, you know, euro for gas those days are over the world has reject is rejecting this fiat artificial corruption called the monetary system that has contaminated and been used as an instrument of war against the population of the world in stealing their wealth from them and so the emergence of the gold standard that is through the BRICS and russia's past a gold back ruble and a gas back ruble and so we talk about the pipeline Nord Stream, and we don't, I'm not going to talk about that now the next, the next time around, but it's absolutely relevant to talk about weaponization of um, the, the monetary and, and macroeconomic system against the people of the world and the media, buying the media with that money. Afrique Média. Le monde, c'est nous.